Hi, you got. Ooh. Baby, you gotta be quiet. Hey you guys, welcome, welcome back to the Royal Court. I'm here to show y'all how I got this look, but really I have two superstars, two superstars. Superstar number one, basically she did the whole show. Am I holding it right? She, the in here, texture gone, gone. The second star to the show is very, very skin-like, uh, makeup forever in the HD skin. This formula, foundation, okay? so good um, but I just really want to show you guys how I got this look but before before you go just do me a favor subscribe now if you don't like it unsubscribe later I'm hoping you forget uh, but subscribe you know what I mean you clicked here you might as well stay support your girl in the meantime please see how I got this look let's zoom in and um, when you when you clip after my intro, cause the intro I will cue the intro, um, and I look like somebody sore thumb, don't go, don't go, cause remember you subscribe and um, we don't want we don't want you to just go. You got to see the complete uh, beauty of it all here because we you know audio jungle. Okay, so I need for you guys to see this setup because this is the first time that this is happening on this camera and Lord, I need this to work out. But that's not why we're here. We're not here for tech. We are here because I am showcasing this. Like you guys have to get into this Danessa Myricks um, blurring balm. And I use it for the first time the other day. And when I tell you that I normally have textured skin, but let's go ahead and get started with this makeup look. All right, welcome to my voiceover. So skin prep is super important. We are going to use this glow recipe and put it all over. Okay, this is going by pretty fast, but the next thing we're going to do is use this primerizer. It is a moisturizing primer. I really love it, especially for me. I have dry skin and put that all over. Next, we're going in with this foundation. I love how super buttery it is, and I'm using a dome-shaped brush to apply it everywhere. Don't forget your forehead. <laughs> Next, I'm using this beauty blender to just kind of marry my skin with the foundation and just kind of get it as seamless as possible. Taking the Charlotte Tilbury, I'm gonna use three different concealers here. Um, Charlotte has a really good way of like highlighting, but I didn't find my perfect shade. So that's why you see me using two different colors. And I'm doing this motion to give a lifted snatched effect. I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray. And add my Fenty concealer, cause that's, it's just my go-to. I love the coverage of it. I'm using a, almost like a finger-like brush it's hard to explain, but basically I'm taking where the finger pad would be. It's very fluffy and I'm just kind of moving and tapping and moving the concealer all over my face. Slightly pushing upwards in the nose and eye and slowly downwards, outwards towards my face. Slowly tapping out that snatched effect. And so you guys, I was on the phone, so I decided from then, like my friend was having a, she needed a friend. <laughs> so I knew in that moment I was gonna do voiceovers. Okay, so this is my base. Getting into this contour, I'm using the same Charlotte Tilbury um, Hollywood flash or whatever. It blends out so seamlessly for me. I'm taking the ever famous Fenty Beauty shark tooth brush and just tapping it upwards into my cheekbone. 
buffing it all out. Look how fast that just blended, you guys. <laughs> um, also, if you need a tip, I legit chose a color that was two to three shades darker than my um, concealer color. Moving right along, we are into the um, bronzer palette by Fenty Beauty, and I'm just kind of setting all of the areas that I added the cream contour. Next, I'm tapping all over with the Beauty Blender to get a really seamless finish. Like, if you want seamless, use your Beauty Blender. It doesn't have to have any product on it, just damp squeeze it out with a towel um how am i doing with this voiceover i don't even know like what i'm supposed to be saying if i'm supposed to narrate every single part of this but here we are taking a bronzer color and just sweeping it in my crease i really like that look for me it's, it's just my summer actually not even in summer it's my air, like year-round go-to all right next is blush I'm tapping it on the apples up and outward. We are we are moving quite along here. We are moving quite along. Brows. If you want an in-depth tutorial on how I do my brows, um, just stick around. It'll be up in like four weeks, I want to say, because I got so much footage of me doing my brow here but also that's not what the video was about so I did skip ahead um, but they came out so good so yeah just stick around please subscribe that's all I gotta say next is this wing it didn't come out the way I wanted it to so I ended up fixing it later but I did it off camera regardless this is my wing I like to use a brown liner um, I feel like it makes my brown eyes pop more. Boom. This is, this is money, y'all. This is money. What we came here for, the Blurring Balm Powder. It's quite literally so good. It comes with its own spatula, which I only really use. I don't use it. I'm just saying. We have it. Um, the consistency of the powder is like balmy but gritty and that's why i am calling it a powder um but there's this swedish technology that she put in it that is supposed to like give you what you need throughout the day to help you control your oils i had shot um some photos outside in the sun came back and my face was still laid so that's why i use it as like um a setting powder so you'll see me putting it in my inner corners on all the areas that I really want to control the oil and give it a moment to set but like it blurs right away well okay not right away in a moment it does blur but you'll be able to see it so just hang tight while we watch the magic happen okay <laughs> Also use one of those puffs you can get off Amazon. You can see immediately it's no longer shiny. It is matte. Don't forget your chin, ladies and gents. Yeah, already you can kind of see how it's giving filter look at that i'm still stunned i will never not travel with this <laughs> especially like i can see myself using it in um humid areas all right anyway i'm gonna finish the rest of my face here really quickly because we saw what we needed to see <laughs> yeah enjoy I just think it's so pretty. So 
this is the final look. Let me let me zoom in because I can. How pretty, but the the star, you guys, it's so blurred. Okay. That's like a filter, a real life filter. Like a filter for real life. Um, this Makeup Forever was also a star. Hubby's home. You coming in? Oh my gosh, we have a very special guest. <laughs> yeah, you're in it. So what do you think? My look. Oh, good. How's the texture in here though? Don't lie, you don't have to lie. People want the know. truth. I'm looking at the texture. Okay, please. <laughs> you saw texture. <laughs> it was... Good texture, man. Yeah? You telling the truth? I think so. Okay. Um, Cause Danessa Myrix herself might see it. Who? Danessa Myrix, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. So she, this is unsponsored. Cause I already put it in my story. But then she saw my story and said, she was like, I made her day. Listen, but I had to show y'all because YouTube is where it's at. So I'm gonna do my intro, but I just want to show y'all this look. I zoomed in already, but let's zoom in again because, because it's so pretty. <laughs> That's it, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. Wait, how much all this equipment cost? No, no, no. Set me up.